Oh, it was a tremendous experience, and I loved every minute of it. Of course, I had like the nerves and stuff, but um, yeah, it was really fun to do. I've been playing since I was six um, at a young age, and I just love the feel because I like rhythm and beat, and I'm always tapping all the time. See my face in light, so my name a mark is found down on I sing all the time, just constantly, and drumming occasionally, like once a week, go down to my shed and have a kit on the drum kit. You don't expect to see a pretty young girl playing the drums and then, you know, the lovely voice that goes with it. She just had that edge. Um, it was a very close call, I mean, and, and myself and the other judges, you know, all agreed that you could have picked out three or four but I think she just had that edge and you know what she's obviously got is a lot of potential. I spoke to Simon before the show and I spoke to Simon after the show um, and told him just how good the talent was um, and how good Sophie was and he said to me well I hope she's going to take part in Britain's Got Talent next year so we will see. I've always wanted to go um, be on the West End stage, something to do with musical theatre. I love Phil Collins, of course, because he plays the drums and he sings. Um, I love Beyonce because she's got such a variety, like, because I, I like singing lots of different varieties of music. Um, I love Kerry Ellis, who performed in Defying Gravity, and also Nick Rye, my drum teacher, because he taught me everything that we really need to know. We worked a lot on it. I mean, we put it together. We really worked hard. My main tip, actually, was just to just to do your best, go and perform. Trust yourself, trust your, if we're talking about talent, you know, trust your talent. Because all the nerves, all the preparation, it kind of all goes out the window. As soon as you're on that stage, you just have to rely on your instinct a little bit. And you hope that your work you've done will carry you through. She definitely has the voice. I think she, she's working with other people on performance and stage presence. Musically, I think if she can keep the drumming and the piano, she plays piano as well, she has to keep that going. Because if she can do drums, piano and sing, it's such an advantage if you want to be a performer. If she wants to be a musician, it's a different story, I think. There's, you know, you have to separate what she wants to do. But at the moment, she's got years to go, you know. She doesn't need to decide for another couple of years.